Hi guys, thanks so much for tuning into my channel. Today I did like an all out, pretty glam look. I did lashes, lips, cheeks, eyes, pretty drawn out, which is why I added the lashes. So if you wanna see how I got the look, keep watching. Alright, starting out with a little MAC Prep and Prime lip and then moving on to my Arbonne primer. And I'm putting the primer on with my fingers because I already had a little tinted moisturizer on so I didn't want to brush it away. Then I'm using this Prime Time, um, it's a cream eyeshadow in a tube and I'm just using a little bit on my lids to act as a primer and it's kind of like a nice amber color which I think is going to look really nice with the shadow. So from there, I'm moving on to a black eyeliner, and I'm just getting really close to the lashes, just trying to kind of like tracing along the lash line. I did this look last time with a brown, and I think I actually preferred the brown, but I chose black this time, so it's gonna be a little more blackened in the outer corner. And then I'm just kind of winging up on the outer corner, and then I'm gonna drag a little bit under the lash line, just to kind of make a boundary, but it doesn't have to be perfect because you're gonna be blending it all out anyway. So I am using MAC Sorcery. I also have Sketch, just to show you. Sketch is a permanent collection item. Sorcery was limited edition a few years ago, and you can see held against each other, they're very similar. So I'm taking a MAC 217, and I'm just picking up a little bit of the product, and I'm getting it right in the outer corner. I'm kind of like pressing it, and then I'm circling my brush so that I kind of pick up some of the liner and I drag it with me to kind of get a nice blend. So it kind of blackens the shadow a little bit, um, and it just kind of changes changes it a little bit, making it more black, but you can really do it whatever liner you like underneath. And then this is just a MAC 239, and I'm taking a little bit of the shadow, and I'm just blending it around the border of the eye. So one of the reasons that I like to do my foundation after is because it will get kind of smudgy, so I like to kind of clean up after if I'm doing something a little more dark. And now I'm just going back with that 217, and I'm just kind of retracing my steps just to blend, blend, blend. So now this is a MAC 266, which is just a nice skinny slanty brush, and I'm getting that liner really smudgy and really into the roots of the lashes. I don't want any harsh lines, I want it to be really, really smoked out. Then this is MAC Naked Lunch, and I'm putting that on the inner corner over where I put the primer just to kind of brighten things up a little bit. This is my mid-tone blending color, and I take a fluffy brush with that, and I like to do this because I feel like it softens everything, and it kind of diffuses the color when you've got two, you know, you've got a light color and a dark color. I like to kind of help to smooth it out with a, with a nice mid-tone like that. Okay, so we're up to foundation. This is just a little bit of foundation. You can see I'm just using a little bit of, this is the MAC um, Studio Fix, and I'm just putting that all over my face. I'm just using a very small amount because I don't want it to be too thick. I already have a little bit of tinted moisturizer and primer on, so I wanna work in really thin layers so I don't feel cakey. So as you can see, I'm just buffing it in. I am gonna be using this concealer. This is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, also in the same color, the NC20, which is working for me right now at this time of year. Um, and I'm putting this everywhere I need extra coverage. So you can see it's full coverage concealer, but it's also kind of thin for a concealer, so it blends in really nicely, and it works really well with the Studio Fix foundation without being too cakey and thick. And I just kind of stipple it anywhere I need extra coverage, and then just buff it in and blend. And I kind of buff to smooth it into the skin so it doesn't feel like a heavy layer. So I'm going back with the MAC Naked Lunch, and I'm just gonna, gonna go over the inner corner again just to brighten things up. Sometimes when you do your foundation, you know, it helps to go back and then recheck the eyes, blending in the outer corner again, just kind of touching things up as needed. Now I'm just going in over my brows. I had done them earlier, so I'm just kind of 
retracing them. A little bit of Bronze Universelle. This is a great cream bronzer, but it's more like a gel. It's not too thick and cakey. And I'm taking a synthetic brush, which works really well with cream products. And I'm just bronzing up the outer areas of my face, under my cheekbones, under my jaw, so it makes me look a little more chiseled, down my neck so we don't have like two different colors. And I'm really just bronzing it up because it's starting to get into spring and summer, so I think you can be a little more liberal with your bronzer. And then I take a fluffy brush and I just kind of blend it out just to make everything kind of like seamless and diffused and you don't have harsh lines. Taking a little bit of my pressed powder and I am just pressing it in with a powder puff. I find it works best. It doesn't move the makeup and it just kind of sets things and mattifies things and you just use a very small amount of product that way. Now I'm going in with a little mascara. This is just um, a Maybelline mascara. I can't even remember. I really just want to put a little bit of mascara on the lashes because I am going to be using fake lashes. That's why I didn't curl them because for me, if I curl my lashes and then put the fake ones on, they flip up and they look really crazy. So I usually just put a little mascara on and then the fake lashes have something to sit on, like a shelf. So you can see I added my fake lashes and I'm going a little more lip primer. And while that soaks in, I'm gonna use this kind of peachy pink blush. And I'm just gonna get that all over the cheeks to add a little color. And I, I find I use more blush in the summer. I'm just kind of like more liberal with the blush and the bronzer because it's nice to have a little more color in your cheeks when there's more colors outside. And then I take that same fluffy brush and I just kind of buff it in. And I make that funny face, you know, just to let my cheekbones kind of pop out more so I can get it where I want it. And then just blend, blend, blend. This is one of my favorite summer lipsticks, NARS Niagara. And I'm getting that all over the lips where I've got the primer on so it's gonna look a little more smooth, which is why I use that primer. And then I'm taking a lip liner, which is really the same exact color and I'm just filling it in so my lips look a little bit bigger, but it's the exact same color, so it's not giving me like any you know outer line that's darker. It just makes my lips look bigger. So as you can see, um, my lashes, the glue has pretty much dried, but what I've done is I'm taking like a black liquid stilo pen and I'm just getting that into where the glue is just so you can't see the glue. Sometimes it dries clear and you can see it a little bit. So I just kind of put the tip right between and just kind of cover up that glue, but I'm not making like a drawn out line. I don't want that. I just am using this to cover the glue simply as a tool. That's the finished look. Um, as you can see, I've done lashes, lips, gloss, bronzer, the whole thing. So anyway, I hope you like it. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next video. Bye.